Tip is up, controlled by Michigan State, and we are underway. Zach Sredenik, Lexi Ayala, Veronica Bolanos, glad you joined us here at the Breslin Center. Kamaria McDaniel controlling the basketball. Tough shot off the glass, too strong, and Sonano controls the glass as she so often does for this Iowa team. McDaniel on that last one had the space to shoot that, decided for a drive, but she needed that one extra step if she wanted to get all the way to the rim. Gabby Marshall being hounded by Hageman. Clark trying to get some space. Joiner all over, pass inside. Sonano working on Parks. The footwork and the finish from Monica Sonano. Sonano's footwork is outstanding. And the thing with Sonano is she doesn't need counter after counter after counter move. Joiner thought about a three. Clark, good closeout. McDaniel mid-range, off the mark. Rebound tipped out of bounds. It stays with Michigan State. I don't know about that one. Well, they talked it over and they change it. Ball does go to the Hawkeyes. I think that's the right call. Looked like Joyner was the last to touch it. Spartans went into that diamond press. The Hawkeyes able to break it with ease. Sonano down low, poked away by Parks. Marshall, the top of the key. Michigan State trying to deny the ball from Caitlin Clark. Hawkeyes having to go somewhere else. Martin for three, pure from the left wing from Kate Martin. And Kate Martin is a guard who is lethal from beyond the arc. It's just some days that she goes away, but when she doesn't think twice about that shot, it's money. Hageman puts her head down, gets to the bucket and finishes to put Michigan State on the board. Hageman has such a quick first step. She loves that driving and slashing game. Down low, Martin in trouble, finds Sonano on a nice cut. Sonano, all she needed right there was a tough, strong rip through, and that's all she did. Matilda Eck, deep triple off the glass. Eck, extremely deep, but zero hesitation. She says, Caitlin Clark, who? Both teams really trying to involve the post players early. Clark gets a screen, pulls up, wing triple, got it. You cannot give Clark an inch, a centimeter of space on screens with the ball in her hand. She's gonna shoot that right away if she gets any spacing whatsoever. Going to the bucket on Martin. Stops, pops, gets the roll. McDaniel with the flick of the wrist. That's that shooter's touch. Right back down the court. Clark finds Warnock. And right after I said Michigan State was playing good transition defense, they just didn't get back in time on that one. Defense is all about who's better conditioned, better disciplined, and just wants it more. And that cannot happen. That's off a Made bucket, good back cut by Eck, but couldn't finish in a foul. It didn't matter. Clark was driving, she was dishing, she was shooting. She had 35, but the Spartans found the win. Had a big roll off the bench for this team as a freshman. Hawkeyes break the breast quickly, but a miscommunication. And a look at Susie Merchant in her 16th year at the helm of this Michigan State program. Helped this team some big time accomplishments over the last 16 years. Trying to weather the storm, good back cut. Joyner with the floater. And Joyner with the laser focus. Pushing all the way and fouled by Ayrault. Just under 83% from the free throw line this season. She shoots a lot of them. I also talked to Coach Bluter a little bit about the pressure that's kind of on Caitlin Clark for being one of the faces of women's basketball as a whole. And Bluter told me, you know what? A lot of players would shy away from that and get scared of that pressure, but Clark is even better with that pressure. Eck too strong, Alexander couldn't bring down the board. It's Clark again. Dribble handoff, Warnock. Clark now working on Eck. Stolke gets it back to her, fading away triple is short. The Spartan crowd will let her hear it for that one. You cannot give enough credit to Michigan State defense right now. Fisher with a nice cross, couldn't finish. Another offensive rebound, Alexander, spinning into traffic and kicks it out. Good board by Alexander. No box out from Iowa. Kick to the wing, Hageman three, doesn't fall. And Caitlin Clark with another rebound. Clark already with four boards and another travel. Fisher thought about the three, got Clark in the air. Good recovery from Clark, but Fisher can't sneak it over the top of the rim. 
Clark already with five boards. Hesitation move off the glass, doesn't fall. Halleck pushing the other way for Michigan State. Aralt tried to leave it for Vischer and turns it over. Ah, uh, Aralt has to capitalize. She can't make mistakes like that at a time like that. Four on one leads to a bucket for Molly Davis. And that's Iowa just converting points off of turnovers. But still left Central Michigan is the all-time leading scorer by points per game. McDaniel got her own board and is fouled. And Zach, going back a little bit to Iowa's Molly Davis. It's a really interesting story, actually, how she got over. And she was the coach that recruited Molly Davis out of high school. So when they saw that Davis went into that transfer portal, they got a hold of her right away. She's been a good addition to this Hawkeye team. Veteran shooter is adding another offensive weapon. Clark off the screen. Spartans double it. Clark trying to direct traffic and it's thrown away. McDaniel doesn't have numbers, she'll push anyways. Hesitation, doesn't fall. I would have liked to see McDaniel take that one all the way to the rack if you're gonna take it for yourself. You're already two feet away from the basket with the jump shot, just get all the way in there. Caitlin Clark slowing things down, shot clock is off. Hawkeyes will go at six. Clark down low, Sonano, good move, and another bucket for Monica Sonano close to the rim. It's attack on, it's a five point lead for the Hawkeyes, 18 to 13. Spartan offense got cold toward the end of the quarter, but the defense keeping them close. 18 to 13, Hawkeyes after one.